Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your general love reading for February 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is general as always, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed, even if you are cross-watching for somebody else, because the reading is general. Alright, so let's see. Sagittarius, what is going on with you? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first half of February. And if the camera moves around, it's because my cat Mannix is like trying to move the camera around. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Sagittarius, what is going on? All right, for the situation, we have the Two of Pentacles crossed by the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody is having a bit of a hard time um, feeling self-reliant, maybe trying to feel more free, more liberated um, from a situation or just being able to count on themselves. This could even be self-worth. Whatever, whatever the case is, um, there's a little bit of a struggle when it comes to that. And it could even be both. It could be um, finding that sense of self-worth in order to be more self-reliant. But we'll see more when we clarify. For the recent past, we have the lovers. Okay, so, wow, okay. Very strong connection between you and another person here. For you, we have the Seven of Wands and the Hanged Man. So possibly, possibly some resistance, maybe, or just really trying to have your guard up or setting some boundaries when it comes to this connection and just kind of waiting, waiting to see how things are going to unfold. I feel like you're you're not doing much. It's like you're just kind of holding back for now. Let's see for them. We have the Three of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Hmm. All right. It feels like this person possibly would want some kind of a reconciliation with you, but is... Kind of avoiding that at the moment. Let's see what's coming up. We have the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so a new potential here or like a new path for this connection. Because I, I feel like it's for this connection. And the message for you is the Page of Cubs, which we will clarify to see what that what that is about. All right, so let's clarify. So let's see the Two of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles. So Eight of Wands, the Moon, and the Knight of Wands. What is going on here? It's like somebody is feeling a little bit inconsistent. I feel like there's been um, a bit of back and forth, maybe even when it comes to what this person has been saying. So if there's been communication between the two of you, I feel like the communication feels a little bit mysterious or like hot and cold or just like back and forth or, you know, one minute somebody's saying this and then the next minute they're saying something different. And again, it feels like that's because they haven't even figured out what exactly is going on here because they're having with his two of pentacles, it's like trying to juggle something, having a hard time really figuring out something about their own self or something. I do feel like it, it stems from self-worth regardless of whatever the specifics are. It could even be, because um, with that lover's card here, I said this, I think it was for Aries, that it could be referring to having to make some kind of a decision here based on love. Um, if there is a third party, and I'm sorry about the noise again, cats are, it's playtime apparently. Um, yeah, okay, so if there is a third party, then this person might be kind of going back and forth between being single. And again, it's based off of um, self-worth. And so there could be a lot of, like, changing their minds back and forth, just not really feeling confident at the moment about it. Um, let's see, let's see the lovers for the recent past. The Page of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Well, whatever the case, there's definitely a lot of love here. I feel like this is a connection that was, um, it was just full of love. 
It was just full of love between you and the other person. Um, I do see them knowing this as well intuitively. I feel like you both you both can feel this connection very, very intuitively. And the love that is there. It's like you both know how the other feels about you. Let's see the Seven of Wands for your energy. The Page of Wands and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're you're setting up boundaries basically because you're you're feeling tired of this, of whatever the situation has been. And so it's like you now you're either trying to defend yourself, but you're still open to this. You're still open to this connection, but you're just, it's like you're taking a step back. And not, not for them. I don't feel like you're doing it as a means to an end. I feel like you're doing it for your own self because you're just tired of, of the heaviness that you may have been feeling throughout this. Let's see the hand man. Alright, the Empress and the Hermit. Exactly what I just said. You're doing this for your own self. You're doing this for your own self. You're keeping your distance and I feel like you're just kind of trying to focus on your own self and you're going within. Um, also learning from this, trying to see what it is that you were meant to learn from this connection and just, just focusing on on being you while you're, like I said, it's like you're still open to this. It's like you're still kind of waiting to see how things will progress. And yeah, I feel like you're, you're basically just doing what, what you're feeling guided to. So it's, it's good. It's positive for you. Let's see the Three of Cups, which is in their energy. And yeah, that's all over now. I'm really sorry about the noise and <laughs> the place that he's in right now. Like I can't even get to him to make him stop. And I don't want to stop your reading either. All right. Okay. So where were we here? Three of cups for their energy. We have the four of pentacles, the five of cups and the 10 of swords. Oh, well, they're definitely feeling some pain here. They're actually feeling a lot of pain. Um, Again, if this is a third party, they're feeling a lot of pain concerning the situation. And if this is a third party, I feel like um, this is something that they know they're done. It could be that there might be some guilt that somebody is holding on to a little bit stubbornly here. Um, otherwise, I see this person being feeling a lot of hurt, feeling a lot of pain because it feels like there's an ending with you because you're you're keeping your distance or you're having your guard up and whatever that is it's creating um it is creating some some remorse here some regret definitely not letting you go though. um i feel like this person has a has a fear now of losing you a fear of this of this coming to an end with you Let's see the Seven of Swords, because it's like, and that's why they would want this reconciliation, right? That Three of Cups, but it's like they're still avoiding it. Let's see. The Emperor, the Seven of Wands for them as well, and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, it's like they wanna, they wanna be able to give you this Ace of Cups, this love. But they're holding back. I mean, with the Emperor and the Seven of Wands, it's like they're taking <laughs> you're you're in the Seven of Wands like in a healthy way where you're like, you know what, I gotta set my boundaries, I gotta protect myself from a situation that's not healthy. Um, for them though, it's it's attached to the Seven of Swords. So there's something that's a little bit dishonest here, at least to their own self. If not to you or to another person, it's to their own self holding back from what it is that they're truly feeling here. It's like they're blocking that out, like refraining from, from giving you this love, even though that's what they really feel and they're feeling a lot of pain and a lot of sadness concerning that.
I'm not getting a negative vibe um, here for this person. I feel like with that ember, it's like they're really trying to just maintain some kind of a some kind of a control, some kind of a system that they're used to, or some something that they that they believe in as when it comes to you know how how to control the world around them or how to be be right and be um I feel like it's it, it feels like they're fulfilling some kind of a role that they feel like they need to and because of that it's like to them at least in their own mind it feels like it's going against their true wishes here and so that's why they're they're avoiding that um, but they're still feeling that pain though hmm. but let's see what's coming up because that ace of pentacles does look does look promising it's a new path it's a new potential here all right we have strength we have the four of cups and we have the hanged man all right which is the hanged man is in your energy okay so we do have leo showing up we do have aries um to gemini because i don't know if i called them out pisces all right could be any sign that you're dealing with these are just the ones that i am that i am seeing all right courage is needed that's for sure courage is needed here it's like this there's this door here that is open it's open and it's just a matter of somebody walking walking through that door. Um, I don't necessarily see it happening just yet with that Four of Cups and the Hanged Man, um, but it is moving in that direction. I feel like that strength, that courage, it's building. It's building up to walk through that door. And it feels like that's going to happen, like the more that the situation um, gets, um, like the more stale this whole situation, the way it is, it becomes. Not your connection. I'm not talking about the connection here. I'm talking about the way things are, as in the situation, just not being, you know, where it could be. It's like there's this sense of boredom that kicks in, disappointment, unhappiness until that peaks and when it peaks, you know, that's when that's when this person can walk through that door okay, so let's see the page of cups for the message for you We have two sixes, the six of the six of wands and the six of swords. There's definitely love here. Um, that's what I'm getting here. There's definitely love, and I do see that things can move in that direction of somebody really opening up to to their emotions, following their heart, basically. It might be taking a little bit of time, but it's like there is success though with that their success when it comes to following their heart as well as leaving something in the past behind. All right, Sagittarius, so let's see if this resonated. Let's get the final message for you. All right, and we have the number eight, which says everything in perfect balance. Yeah, so things right now could be exactly where it is that they need to be. I mean, you definitely seem to be um, exactly where you need to be. I mean, this person has to deal with some pain here. They have to deal with certain things. But I do see them moving in a positive direction. Walking towards the door. If not through the door yet, they're walking towards that, that door. So, yeah, that is it, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching and much love.